the mortality rate of testicular cancer patients with learning difficulties is significantly higher than that of people without learning difficulties. That's according to a new piece of research by Dr. Mehran Afshar from St. George's Hospital in London, who's with me now. Hello. Hello, good morning. Now, tell me about your study. Okay, so uh, we um, were in the clinical setting in a urology meeting uh, discussing uh, patients uh, with uh, testicular cancer. And we noticed that those uh, few patients that we had who had learning disabilities, that discussions were taking longer um, and uh, the, the treatment options were more challenging uh, as a result of their learning disabilities. And so we uh, pondered as to whether their survival was different because uh, there's a huge paucity of data out there. Um, about survival rates in these patients. Um, so we undertook to uh, analyze uh, national data um, over a 14-year period, um, identifying patients who had learning disabilities and then finding those uh, with learning disabilities who were diagnosed with testicular cancer and then comparing their survival rates to the general population. Um, and what we found was that survival rates were uh, poorer for those patients, significantly poorer for those patients with, dis with learning disabilities and testicular cancer than those who didn't have learning disabilities. Do you put a figure on that? You say significantly poorer. Yeah, so um, if you look at 10-year uh, uh, mortality, um, the 10-year mortality for patients without learning disabilities and testicular cancer is in the order of 96.5% whereas it's 88% for those with learning disabilities. When you look at uh, the number that are likely to die from testicular cancer, um, about one in 10 patients with, with learning disabilities are likely to die of their testicular cancer, whereas that figure is more in the order of one in 36 for the general population. So uh, around four times more likely to die. So yes, it is significant. Now, why do you think that is? Well, it, it, we don't know the answer to that question. Um, we postulate that it may be because of um, a lack of education. Um, uh, testicular cancer itself is a disease where self-examination is important. So these patients may well be presenting a lot later with their disease to their clinician. Uh, their carers may not be uh, empowered with the education that they need uh, to know that they need to be examining patients that can't examine themselves. Um, these patients with learning disabilities may well uh, have uh, less access to national screening programs. Now that's unrelated to testicular cancer, but talking about learning dis disabilities as a whole. Um, and other things, uh, clinician attitudes or family attitudes towards treatment. So these patients may end up receiving not full dose chemotherapy, uh, for example. Um, uh, there are a lot of challenges involved. I've had patients where um, uh, even obtaining imaging, putting them through a scanner has been difficult and we've had to put them under a general anaesthetic in order to be able to image them. Uh, so there are many challenges I think that may contribute to, to this finding, but, but it's a much larger piece of work to be able to accurately identify those causes. And what is the scale of the problem? How many people are we talking about? So patients with, uh, well, people with learning disabilities uh, constitute around 1.5 million of our population in the UK. So that's around two and a half percent of our population, one in 40 people. Um, the uh, patients that we identified over that period of time with testicular cancer account, uh, amounted to about 330 of the 280,000 patients in total that we analysed. Testicular cancer is a rare disease. I think that the, the, the important point here is that if there is no biological reason why they should be surviving less from their cancer, then could the causative factors that we have yet to identify uh, apply to other cancers? And that's what you're going to look at next? Yes. Okay, and what's the solution, do you think? Well, I think first we need to identify the cause. Um, I think that it's important to look at education programs for these patients. I think um, uh, even leaflets within, within clinics, um, there should be ones that are tailored towards uh, patients and carers who have learning disabilities. Um, Which there isn't much at the moment. Th there's little, there's very little out there. There are local health economies in the UK that have looked at this and have implemented change, but I think that um, both in the UK and, uh, and across the globe, there needs to be a, a reanalysis of this issue. All right, well, thank you very much for that. Thank you.